You so fucking precious when you smile. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Little Trey here, and today we are making the part five of the story of Wink Eve and Lily Eve. It's been a little while since I made an episode, and I really wasn't gonna make another episode because I kind of got bored and tired of the story. But I actually like the story, and I think you guys would want more of it. So I'm excited to make another one. Here's Wink's little family, and Naomi has grown up into a kid, and she's very happy all the time. And they needed a new house because that house was a little bit too small. <laughs> and when they got to the house, they found something a little strange. There was this basement that they didn't really know was here. But maybe we can put kidnapped victims down here. Wait a minute, what's that? Aww, it's a little stray cat. Down in the basement? That's a little weird. And of course Naomi is going to make friends with it. They decided to keep the little stray cat, and they decided to name him Whisper. Whisper the cat. And both Naomi and Lily both got lovely rooms. And Wink and Daniel got Lily and Cody to go to a new school. And that school was great. It was way better than their old one. It's really big. <laughs> and the boy that was with that girl that was bullying Cody kind of comes up to him and asks if he can talk to him for a second. Basically kind of just saying that he's sorry for what his friend did and wondering if they could be friends. And Cody, of course, says yes. Cody loves making friends. And Cody's the kind of guy that gives people another chance. And then there's this girl. Her name is Mimi. And she's a little bit of a tsundere and has a little bit of a sour attitude. And she had some feelings for Cody. She even got a little bit jealous when she saw Cody and Dan talking. And Lily was some type of friends with her, and she asks her if she likes Cody, and she says yes. And Cody sometimes tries to be friends with her, but due to her little sour attitude, she can be a little bit of a tsundere and yells at him and beats him up sometimes. And Dan doesn't like her meanness at all, so he yells at her and tells her to leave Cody alone. But Cody kind of likes both of them and doesn't really know which one to date, so he's going to have to pick between two of his love interests. <laughs> this is what I meant when I said Cody's going to have some trouble with his love life. And when Lily was checking out the school, this girl started bullying Charged. her out of nowhere, and even tried to fight her. We all know, Lily's not gonna stay in the Lily didn't really mean to kill her, so she calmed herself down and went to go hang out with Cody and pretend it never happened. Fella balloon. <laughs> and Zerba. <laughs> Harpin. And when Cody got home from a long day of school, he asked his brother for like oh, dating advice. He was saying like there's two people I like and I don't know which one to date. And Daniel kind of is telling him that why don't you hang out with both of them and see which one you like better. 
So he went to Mimi's house to go hang out with her. And we can all guess how that went. Not very good. Hello, Dorna Emka. So he went to Dan's house to go hang out with him instead. And it actually went really well. Philobok? Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, Kangaroo! Ah, <sighs> Rol Shalu! Oh, But Dan kind of tells him, if we're gonna start dating, there's something important that I gotta tell you. He basically tells him that he is secretly a vampire, and even shows him his dark form. But Cody doesn't really mind, he still loves him and accepts him for how he is. And Dan kind of asks if he can live with Cody and his brother because he doesn't really have that much money and his house is a little small for him and his little brother. And Daniel allows it. Okay everybody, we have to stop the video here. There's definitely going to be more parts and I hope you enjoy.